a lot of them have gone on to have major, major careers as con choral conductors, you know, um, or as singers, you know, it's really kind of a, amazing, you know, bringing together of people that really kind of were the next generation. Um, what do we call your voice? Well, my voice? Yes. <laughs> it is the... It's actually called a basso profundo, basso which pro means okay. deep, low bass. Yeah, well, yeah. that seems are. like that's <laughs> accurate. So Don't sing this in front of anybody. Just don't do it. Anyway, the one of the one of the reasons why I like this song so much is because it's um, it it forces you to when you're mimicking Thurl, you're putting that sound really forward in your mask, which is uh, helpful for me. And also, um, I mean, he's just got a great voice, so singing along with him just helps in general. Many years ago, I had a real good friend whose name was J.D. Sumner. Now, J.D. was my buddy. Uh, he was one of the, to me, the greatest bass singer that ever lived. And uh, we played golf probably a hundred times together, and like I say, we were real close. Als der merkte, dass ich nicht sang und nur äh, äh, Seifen, 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 Seifen <lacht> ja. hörte auf zu singen, versteckte sich äh, während der Pause äh, auf der Toilette, dass der Dirigent ihn nicht erreichen konnte. <lacht> und dann haben wir dann in der Pause haben wir dann die, die Dinge im zweiten Akt, wo Gott sei Dank nicht sehr viel geändert war, haben wir dann besprochen und dann ging es. Aber das so war für mich der Schock meines Lebens eigentlich. Ah, sehen Sie da war Matti äh, 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 Talvila und ich besetzt, dass man mit fünf Partien durch die Welt reisen sollte und die überall abziehen. Ich da ist es, der Osmin, das. sehen Sie gerade das Bild? Aber es gibt, ich meine, dass es keine Sänger mehr gibt, das ist ein Trugschluss. Ja. Es gibt sehr begabte Sänger nach wie vor. Because you can go real low. I can go real low. But, uh, hi, the highness, the hearness, the hear you want to... The hearness. <laughs> Someone said, I'll get by. And I actually am going to do that today. I see the academy, kids asking for the C. Y'all, I don't, I don't think I'll remember all the words, as sad as that is. I'm bad at remembering words. Someone said, Sweet Ally Part 2, Full Moon. I really wanted to do it live because I wanted to have this energy. Um, and so I'm so excited to play for you all. Um, people that I already know. And hopefully many new people as well. Um, and vocal fry is one thing that I um, I I try to stay away from because just for me personally, mm -hmm. I don't like the sound of vocal fry. And I, I'm glad to hear you say that, just because for me personally, I don't like the sound of vocal fry when you're performing. You hear of guys or you see guys that leave a group and then they end up trying to do some solo stuff and then they come back to a group, you know that type of stuff. What is that experience it, like? And so I actually, I, I went to college t as a pre-dental major for a couple wow. of years. Wow, okay. And then, but I still had like enough of the bug where it's like, you know, I should sure. maybe try this music thing. Like I can always go back to school, but I want to like be, you know, marketable and have youth on my side and all that. So, um, you yeah, know, I just decided to try, just like joined a startup band in Minnesota when I was 20 years old and have been doing that sort of thing ever since. What's your range? How low can you go? How high can you go? Um, I don't really get into all that. I see YouTube videos and uh, a lot of these guys who claim to be so low. Basically what they're doing is called a vocal fray. Um, it, I don't consider that really singing. I guess if you were trying to compete for a low note contest. Um, yeah. Started singing when I was actually very young. I would go to the, um, you know, the gospel sings, the quartet. Um, bass singers were my heroes. George Yance, J.D. Sumner, all those guys. And I uh, wanted to emulate them. My voice dropped at a pretty early age. I was about 12 or 13 years old. And uh, it dropped. 
did some choral singing and other stuff like that, but didn't really pursue it much until about the age of 19 or 20. I started singing in a quartet and traveling around. Впервые это случилось, когда мне было примерно 14 лет. Я поступил учиться в музыкальное училище как музыковед, теоретик. Да, добрый день, дорогие друзья. Сегодня у нас международный эфир. Россия приветствует вас и Владимир Миллер Бас Профунда из Санкт-Петербурга. Я рад всех вас приветствовать. Здравствуйте. Сложно объединиться во что-то такое единое и интересное. Вот надеемся, что Вам скоро это, это произойдет. Ну, пока что идет время репетиций, но сама идея очень интересная. И я думаю, людей это порадует. Frank Stamps was my idol when I was four years old. He came to the Church of God camp meeting in Florida and sung Stand By Me to 10,000 people without a microphone. And my mother said that, I said that night that at me four years old, I was going to be a bass singer, just like Mr. Frank Stamps. And about J.D. Summer retiring, is there any truth to that? Uh, I, I ain't going to retire. Uh, Till Jesus retired me. No, I, I don't have anything to do but sing. I lost my wife six years ago, and uh, I don't even want to stay at home. I love. God called the dry land earth, and the mass of waters seas, and God saw that it was good. It's midwinter in Japan, and a snowstorm attacks the volcanic mountains of Shigakujin. Not many animals can survive the icy wrath. And yet in the cold months, snow monkeys can be seen playing in hot springs. Used to validate accuracy to 5 ten thousandths of an inch, the Brown and Sharp CMM is a precision measuring device that meets MMP's meticulous attention to detail. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. Uh, well, if you were to give it a musical value, a musical note, it would be G minus seven. And uh, in frequency, that's 0.189 hertz. Well, uh, I'm the first mate, the voice of the first mate on the Mark Twain. And uh, in the Bear Country Jamboree, I'm the, I'm the old, no, I'm the old sourpuss on the wall, the buffalo head. Oh, I love Oh, sing it, babe. Come on, sing it, babe. And I've done, uh, uh, I'm the parrot in the uh, Enchanted Tiki Room. For 45 years? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. What voice is that? Well, I'm sure you've heard the guy who, if somebody says, Tony, are they any good? Tony says, good. They're gone. You know what? I'm not even mad about this because... <laughs> Because everyone's always like, you look like you're a baby. And uh, I'm honestly very happy with this because now somebody's like, hey, you actually look remotely old. So thank you. You're my new favorite person. To okay. So this is what I sound like in the morning. Um, it's not that different, but yeah. Just not long after that, but I hid them and burned them and threw them away, you know. But uh, the first one that I have kept I was 12 years old, and I wrote poems, songs, short stories, uh, drew pictures, a little of everything. Uh, country music is a big part of the folk music of America. I think probably, you know, a lot of people probably don't appreciate a lot of country music. I suppose I don't appreciate some of it, but uh, basically I think country music is, is our greatest music and probably it's changed over time. I enjoy such a wide variety of music. Um, I mean, growing up, it was all just soul, R&B, you know, Michael Jackson was a hero of mine. He used to have the, the bad poster with the, you know, leather and a thousand zippers and all that. Ought to shout out and meant to mention in our, your previous question about basses that I hear and I'm like, oh yeah, he's good stuff. Doing a collab with him that's already recorded and folks are, you guys are really gonna love it. Um, Axiom's going to have more coming on and um, another vocal jazz thing coming up later this year in a month or two. So and when we won our first Country Music Association Award, Johnny Cash was hosting the show. When they called our name, we ran up on the stage 
And instead of going to stage left to receive our award, we ran over to stage right where Johnny Cash was standing. We all hugged his neck. And he said, see, fellas, I told you it was going to happen. And he was right. Prior to joining the Oak Ridge Boys, I sang with J.D. Sumner and the Stamps Quartet. And uh, for about a year and a half of that time, there, w there was a time when we were playing in Las Vegas where uh, we were doing two shows. Between the two shows, Elvis came into our dressing room and said that he wanted to talk to us. So he asked us to come up to his room, his suite at the top of the Las Vegas Hilton. Uh, you're here. Good noon. Yeah, I'm not a morning person either. I just woke up. Oh my up God. Late. Jesus. You just wake up. Yeah, yeah, Another one of those too, yeah. days. It's like a. <laughs> so I, this is me when I wake up. That's what I mean. Oh my God. I'm scared. I didn't know it could get lower. I didn't know you could hit puberty twice. Jesus. <laughs> Corpse, can I just borrow the voice? For like five minutes. What would you do with it? I don't know. I like, call just my dad or something and be like. All right, let's just not look at each other ever. Everybody travel in packs of one. Felix just killed I'm Lily so in front confused. of me. Felix just killed Lily in front of me. So I, made I was, this so hard I was with Jack. <laughs> We're the top right. I walked down all the way around. I checked electrical, and when I walked in, Felix was standing over a body. He saw me and reported it. I never thought of myself as a poet, to tell you the truth. I, I always thought that, uh, that poetry is the verdict that others give to a certain kind of writing. Uh, so to call yourself a poet is a kind of uh, dangerous uh, description. So you know, it, it's for others. It's for others to use. My name is Yuri Yushnikov. I was not so long ago I felt my privilege after 23-25 лет, около того. Мы пели э, ее очень много и во времена э, Клавди Борисовича Птицы, и во времена Ермаковой Людмилы Владимировны, и во времена Конторовича. And that was the time that um, I actually listened a lot to uh, an artist called Bob McFerrin and tried to imitate that kind of instrumental use of the human voice. And, um, but I think the high school uh, was around 16, 18. That was the thing that really turned me into more of a singer than a player. Because at that time I was still playing viola and uh, I was playing uh, drums in a jazz trio. And I wanted to sing opera, so I was gonna be an opera singer and uh, sang uh, HMS Pinafore and La Boheme, and Devil and Daniel Webster and all those things. And uh, it just, it became to where I was pushing God out uh, because I felt like I had been burnt in, in essence. And so... Ошиблись на полчаса раньше пришли на прием, а пришли вдвоем и когда мягко и бархатно I had that, uh, that old mountain man look going on there for a little while. <laughs> so good. I've never had, I've never, I had a mustache back in the 90s, you know, but uh, 80s and 90s. But, you know, since I've been with the Kingdom of I've kind of been clean shaven. A lot of people like that. It's just one of the rules I had set, which is weird because back in the 90s, everybody, even the Kingdom of had mustaches and, and, uh, you know, longer hair, party in the back, you know what I'm saying? Right. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was 14 years old, and uh, I spoke to my mother like I usually do every morning. Mm -hmm. And my chest just rattled. She was stunned. I was stunned. We stood there looking at each other. I was scared to speak. I was scared to say anything else. Uh, <laughs> And suddenly tears started rolling down her face and she said, my baby became a man today. <laughs> so, and that's the day I started shaving. Uh, started but your shaving. beard just popped out like that. The next morning, after the day of my voice changing, hair started going on my face. Yeah, um, this is the slowest vibrations or that you can make with your vocal cords, or as they are called, uh, this would be the slowest vocal pulses uh, with the greatest interval between them. That's yeah, your first time. You are okay. I, right. I didn't make it melodic, though. Uh, well, here's here's another thing I can do. Okay. Wait.